I have the TheraBand Flex Bar here today. Um, I've done some other exercises for tennis elbow and golfer's elbow or lateral epicondylitis and medial epicondylitis. And I'm just gonna show some exercises that you can do with this to strengthen your wrist um, supination and your wrist pronation. This is really good if you have pain or weakness in these areas of your forearm or you have range of motion issues turning your wrists over that way or if you're just an athlete like a climber or maybe someone who's into jujitsu or CrossFit and you wanna work on your strength. So the TheraBand Flex Bar, I'll put a link on where you can find this. These are awesome for a ton of different exercises that you can do. Um, you really can't find anything to mimic it very well. So I usually recommend people just buy one because it's something that you can continue to use, especially if you're an athlete. So the first one that we're gonna do is just a single arm pronation. Um, I have this table here, but you could just use a regular table or you could kneel down and use like your bed or a couch. But I want something that's going to allow you to sort of lock your elbow against it so that you're not using your upper arm to assist with you in the exercises. So the first one, we're just gonna grab the flex bar at the end here and then put some resistance down against the table. You can support yourself here. And then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna turn our wrist as far as we can over. So our palm is facing down towards the table and then nice and easy, release it. Make sure that you go nice and slow on these because you do get some benefit um, to the negative part of the rep too. So just palm down towards the table and then palm over. In order to work on the supination part, it's pretty easy. We're just gonna flip this around. So you're gonna start with your palm down towards the table, and then you are just going to roll your wrist up so that your palm is facing up towards the ceiling. Again, nice and slow here. Get a good grip on this. You don't have to death grip it, but get a good grip on it. Um, and go ahead and just run through some reps of that. It's gonna make you sore in this area of your forearm, but it's also gonna help create some strength and stability. The other thing that we can do is we can do it with both arms at the same time. So if you're having symptoms in both arms or weakness in both arms, um, we can just work both of them at the same time. So for pronation, we're just gonna grab it here with our palms up, so we're in supination, and then we're gonna bring the ends towards each other, okay? So I'm doing it without my arms on the table this time. Um, and you certainly can do that, but you can see how it brings a little bit of my upper arm into the action. So again, I'd rather have you anchor it down like this and then just go ahead and bring these two ends together and then bring them apart. And then to do the other one where we're gonna um, work on the supination, we're just gonna grab them both on the ends with our palms facing down. We're gonna anchor our elbows against the table and then we're gonna bring the ends together but they're down instead of up. And this is the green one. Um, I think it's a really good like medium level um, thera, thera bar to use, the flex bar, thera bar, whatever you wanna call it, they're pretty similar. Um, but there's also other levels. I think they make a red one, which is a little bit easier. I think they may, maybe even make a yellow one, which is really super easy. Um, something that if you're coming back from an injury, you might use. And then if you already have strong grip and you're just trying to work on your grip, like you're an arm wrestler or something like that, then there's a blue one too. That's a little bit more difficult. So check out some of the other videos at the end here. I go through the Tyler twist, the reverse Tyler twist, um, and I'll show some of the other exercises too.